Um, so, go to a bar, right? After work, pretty much any night, more on a Thursday or a Friday, for the most part. You see a diverse group of people. You might see some, you know, big woman with a hot girl and a cool dude and a really buttoned up businessman type guy. That's a, you know, that's a happy hour, a work happy hour. Those things happen, they're fun, they're, you know, they're whatever. The most fun you're going to have at work, you know, for the most part. Um, you got a, a, a bar on any Monday night, Tuesday night for, uh, you know, college basketball possibly. Um, any big game, you know, sporting event, anything like that. Yeah, that's just, uh, you know, a regular night at the bar. So. Going to a bar on like any, you know, insignificant weeknight when, you know, nothing's going on. See a bunch of guys in like polo shirts or Oxfords or, you know, something just doesn't seem right, but there's a group of them. That's a guy's night out. It's uh, usually you'll hear them talking about how cool it is that they got out, you know. It's great, we got out, it's awesome, let's talk about it. The whole time we're out, we'll talk about how great it is that we're out. Like, the funny thing is, most of the time, none of these guys are friends. They all met each other because they all had babies at the same time. That's uh, what happens, that's, you know, that's life. So, uh, you might have a doctor, and a, an accountant, uh, maybe an electrician also guy that, you know, sells direct TV, whatever the fuck you got. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, the point is, all these people are thrown together. Guys night out. Had a few of them. They fizzle out after a while. <laughs> Probably because they're not that much fun. And those people are never really your friends. I don't know. Maybe. So... Basically what I'm saying is you should have as many friends as possible and like you should make your guys let out fun like uh, theme it maybe you know go to a murder mystery with your guy friends maybe uh, night at the theater you know somewhere where you know strip club that's not gonna work don't come home with glitter to a family that, no. unless you can somehow convince them that you were visiting preschool that day and helping out with the picture and then get an alibi with the kindergarten teacher or preschool teacher or whatever. Like, there. Yeah, you can do that. Don't bring glitter home. That's never a good idea. Anyway, it's been John. There's some more information for you. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks.